involved in the competition It's your story told, the goals that we envision All over the globe, we solve problems with cold So we leave this world better than how it was before Like, what's your use case? Find a new way Teamwork, you listen to what your crew say Data in the cloud, doesn't matter my coordinates Another sad second thumb, find me in some orange drip We had back to back again, live from SAS That's North Cadillac, I'm in that to that to 10 When they ask about us, uh, SAS is a name we actually can trust One decision tree in the random forest The prediction is that we always scoring When with your team, what you waiting for? Cause the time is now when the stage is yours Hello and welcome to the much anticipated SAS Hackathon 2022 Global Awards Ceremony. We are excited that you have chosen to share with us the next 45 minutes where we are going to announce this year's SAS Hackathon winners. We'll also celebrate all SAS Hackathon participants, including teams across the globe, SAS mentors, judges, and our technical support crew. We'll also hear from our lead sponsor, Microsoft. My name is Michelle Proctor, and I serve as the Chief of Staff for the RISC Division here at SAS. I also have the privilege of being the executive sponsor for SAS's Women's Initiative Network, and am an active participant in our Women in Analytics Network. It is truly an honor to spend this time with you today. During a hackathon, Teams of data scientists and technology enthusiasts collaborate to find solutions to big challenges. Unlike many hackathons where participants meet in person for a couple of days, the SAS hackathon is an all digital event over an entire month. Working with a SAS mentor, each team used the power of SAS VIA and other SAS software open source technology, and the Microsoft Azure cloud platform to think boldly and improve lives by working to solve big real world challenges and problems. The SAS Hackathon is a crucible for curiosity and an incubator for innovation. The combination of AI and the cloud gives hackathon teams and the organizations that they represent the power to quickly transform data into better, faster decisions. So, who participated in the 22 SAS Hackathon? Well, this year we had 1,300 applications from 75 countries. That broke down into more than 70 teams representing 145 organizations in business, government, and education. 75% of the starting teams completed the hackathon and submitted their solutions to be judged. We asked participants to put their SAS hackathon experience into one single word and take a look at their feedback. Not at all surprising, words like challenging, innovation, learning, interesting, and amazing were repeated the most often. We saw some remarkable solutions to unsolved challenges and important topics created by multidisciplinary teams from all around the world. This is proof positive that diversity and inclusion can drive innovation across all sectors. But before we get to those winners, I'd like to introduce you to some special guests who can share some additional perspective on the power of the SAS Hackathon to put curiosity and innovation to work. First, we'll hear from Alex Boachi. He's the Vice President of Solutions Development here at SAS. Alex is the executive sponsor for the SAS Hackathon, and he'll share more on why SAS supports this global program. Data scientists, technologists, enthusiasts, and everyone else joining in around the world. Welcome to the 2022 SAS Hackathon Awards Ceremony. 
It is great to come together to celebrate advancing innovation and creating new technologies and solutions to deliver a more intelligent and responsible and safer world. First, I'd like to take a moment to congratulate all the global participants of this year's hackathon. Your accomplishments are truly incredible. In a time where we're seeing the technology landscape change daily with disruptions and uncertainty, you have produced remarkable hacks to help drive innovation using big data, analytics, and SaaS buy-in. You're helping to solve for some of the most challenging and pressing business and humanitarian issues we face today across the globe. We've seen teams from North America to Europe create projects that calculate risk, forecast, and prevention related to flooding, a team from Indonesia helping government to optimize disbursement of financial aid during the pandemic for very small businesses, and a team from South Africa identifying long diseases using CT scan images to improve the rate and accuracy of the diagnostics. In fact, our panel of judges reviewed more than 50 impactful use cases that will help move the world forward. Wow! This is something to truly celebrate. As leader of SaaS's Solutions Factory, where we incubate, develop, and optimize innovative solutions on SaaS buyer to solve our customers' most difficult challenges, the SaaS Hackathon gets me excited every year. When we launched the SaaS Hackathon, we wanted to provide all users worldwide a network where they could celebrate their diverse skills to build reliable, real-world applications with no limitations. Our goal is to show the world how data can create immense value, especially when all data enthusiasts can collaborate efficiently and join forces. And this is our goal when building SaaS Fire, to provide data scientists and other users a tool to showcase their value and impact in the world with analytics. Thank you for using our platform to help change the world. And congratulations again to all the participants and award winners. Together, we can continue to move the world forward. Thanks, Alex. The SAS Hackathon will indeed continue to move the world forward. Our next special guest is Marinella Profi, a SAS data scientist and lead marketeer for AI. Marinella will discuss the important role that SaaS mentors play in the overall success of the SaaS Hackathon. And she should know, Marinella mentored an all-women team during this year's SaaS Hackathon that worked with data from a major energy company. Thank you, Michelle. Hi, I am Marinella, a data scientist and one of the SaaS Hackathon mentors. Thank you so much for inviting me today to be part of this exciting award day. The 2022 SAS Hackathon was a true success and the feedback we got from the participants was overwhelmingly positive, according to a recent survey they participated. Team members appreciated the challenge of the hackathon and had so much fun using SAS via in open source to solve real world problems. The mentors were specifically one of the things that teams spotlighted. Mentors play such a key role in supporting diverse teams that range from data scientists to experienced developers to hackathon novices and university students. In particular, my favorite quote from one of the team was, my mentor taught us new ways of solving problems. That is so fantastic. In many ways, it represents exactly the core of the SaaS hackathon, finding new approaches, innovating and collaborating. And the 60 plus mentors are so instrumental in their team's success. They serve as a sounding board for ideas, assisting with overall planning and troubleshooting code, helping finding resources and training, and providing fresh perspectives and insights to, the, to their teams. Some mentors are data scientists and software developers. Others are experts in a specific industry, such as life science, energy, supply chain, and so on. This year, together with an energy expert, I had the pleasure to co-mentor an all-women hackathon team that worked with the energy giant Anil to help achieve a greener future. The mentor experience has helped me to be a better data scientist and a better leader by working with a fantastic team of women in analytics based in multiple countries and by engaging with customers and partners to talk through concepts and new approaches. 
As I like to say, while winning in a hackathon is great, the real reward comes with bringing people together to solve a challenge and build something new. I really want to thank not only the women analytics teammates and my fantastic co-mentor, Jennifer Whaley, but also all the SAS Hackathon 2022 participants and all the SAS mentors who made this year's hackathon such a triumph. I'll be back next year for more, and I hope to see you again. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the award session and good luck to all the teams. Bye. Thank you, Marinella, and thanks to all the SAS mentors for this year's SAS Hackathon. It's not surprising at all that many participating teams return this year. Let's meet last year's winner of the energy track, the global energy giant, Enel. Represented by Maurizio Pontini, the head of Enel's Data Competence Center and the SAS account executive, Mario Secco. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very quickly, the first question is, uh, why did you participate uh, a second year in the SAS Global Hackathon? Okay, Mario, uh, of course, because uh, we want to win again, as you can imagine, you know. So considering the, the top performance of the previous year, no, we, we would like to try to, to win again. No, it's a joke, of course. I think that in the previous edition, uh, uh, for us, it uh, uh, was a very interesting experience, you know? mainly because, as you, you know, uh, we are in a transformation uh, path and it's crucial for us in this period to share information with uh, uh, all the people that daily are involved in uh, the same uh, our issues. Uh, I think that the experience in the global Sassacadon for us was the opportunity to uh, meet a superified uh, uh, network, no? uh, uh, software engineer, uh, system integrator, data scientist, uh, business people. So all these people that uh, uh, have the, the, the same issue that we are managing. And uh, uh, to share information, to share a success, to share failure uh, with them, uh, uh, give us a, a very huge support in the right address of our strategic project. Mm, I think that in, for us was a, a very interesting to a, a share information during the challenge with the Hackathon team, no? the SAS a, 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 a people, the a, a management solution people, and mainly the Oakland University. And yeah. I think that for us, I want to be honest, was very interesting to collaborate with the university researchers because um, I um, perceived a, a huge energy and enthusiasm in the team. Um, I, I think that it was mainly a win-win, no? because uh, uh, the university researchers uh, uh, have the, had the opportunity to face on uh, uh, a, a real business case. No? Whilst for us, it was very interesting to uh, um, uh, meet uh, people, the, uh, the, the academic world, where uh, uh, all the uh, last uh, techniques of intelli artificial intelligence are uh, uh, developed. We agree that transformation is indeed crucial and love the enthusiasm and drive to win. In 2021, startup Livensense refined its technology for optimizing industrial furnaces for the petrochemical sector by participating in the first ever SAS hackathon, where it won the manufacturing, IoT, and overall industry categories. Per Livensense's CEO, Avnish Kunar, the SAS Hackathon was a great environment in which to try new ideas and drive innovation. Let's hear from Avnish about Livensense's Hackathon experience and how it has helped them refine and commercialize their technology. When we participated in this Hackathon, we found that it is not just one of its Hackathon, it's much more than that. What we realized out of it is it's a long-term value creation. We, and that's what a SaaS hackathon has delivered to us, whether it is the structured mentoring to go to market strategy, to even finding the right kind of product market fit for us, and then taking the solution across different sectors. We all 
gained out of this hackathon and uh, our platform also scaled uh, in terms of performance across the industries and as well as this high performance scalability which is the need for this industry and this hackathon gave us an opportunity to work with SAS via platform and work on the carbon reduction. That was the key innovation which we did it. Uh, and this whole thing required the uh, leveraging of uh, AI, IoT, as well as the digital twins in terms of the technology stack. And most importantly, the various aspect of this as via platform and Microsoft Azure Cloud. Uh, overall, uh, it was a combination of technology innovation and also proving our solution in terms of uh, scalability and performance. Yes, so when uh, we started, uh, one of the key challenge we were facing with our solution was scalability. Uh, specifically, uh, SaaS uh, via stack provided us ML ops environment, which is VDDML. And more than that, the visual analytics, which is which gave us a plug and uh, play features to build the UX design based on uh, out of box way. And the third most important aspect was the ESP, uh, acquisition of data and uh, doing the real time analysis, including the pre-processing of data. So all these aspects strengthened our solution in terms of uh, overall offering, as well as taking it across different industries. Uh, which uh, which was limited at that point of time only to few industries like petrochemical and chemical cell. Thanks, Ivnish. We wish you and Live and Sense continued success. It is great to get your perspective on how SaaS, VIA, and Microsoft Azure helped you succeed. Before we shift to our SaaS Hackathon Awards studio in Stockholm, Sweden, let's hear from Morgan Peters, the Director of Partner Development at Microsoft, on the importance of Microsoft sponsorship of the SaaS Hackathon for the second year in a row. All right, Morgan, thank you so much for joining us today at our SaaS Hackathon Awards celebration. Can you introduce yourself to the folks uh, who are attending? Garrett, thanks for having me back. It's great for a uh, really good round two. Uh, my name is Morgan Pettis. I'm a director of partner development here at Microsoft. I've been at Microsoft about seven years or so, and I've been working on the SaaS partnership uh, for approximately about two years or so. And this is actually our second year sponsoring and participating in the SaaS Global Hackathon. And I'm really excited about all the different participants, the soon to be award winners, and I just want to send out a big shout out to all the participants, whether you're a winner or not, or a finalist, that I just want to say great job, super impressive. And uh, I know when I reviewed a number of the uh, finalists, I, I came away feeling really inspired. And I know, Garrett, you're probably really interested in why is Microsoft sponsoring this hackathon in the first place, right? We've got a really good Better Together story when we think about the overall partnership from a people and technology perspective. But I really just want to talk a little bit about why we're involved for the second year in a row and hopefully, you know, we'll continue the success for, uh, you know, round three, hopefully next year. We're really looking forward to, you know, continuing our partnership and sponsorship. And I just want to talk a little bit about the Microsoft mission and why the SAS Global Hackathon really resonated with the Microsoft mission statement. And for those of you who don't know, the Microsoft mission is to empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more. Full stop, that's it, that's what we do. Uh, that's why we're in business. And one of the great things about SaaS is you have a very similar mission. Uh, when you think about your customer base and just making the planet just a better place to exist just in general. That's awesome, thanks so much, Morgan. Uh, you know, the partnership with SaaS and Microsoft is, is so strong uh, and, and it was amazing to see uh, what the hackathon participants were able to do. Uh, using SAS via and Microsoft Azure together to, to truly build something amazing. Um, do you have any concluding words for our hackathon participating teams this year? Yeah, I think my final words are congrats to the award winners and the finalists, of course. Kudos to you. Great job. You went above and beyond. And some kind words to the folks that may have put in the effort. You put your blood, sweat, and tears and, you know, got your act together and produced some good outcomes. Even if you weren't an award winner or finalist, do not give up. 
we need you to continue to innovate and fill in that white space. So even if you're not a finalist, you're still a finalist in my book. And I can't wait to see, even if you didn't make it this round, there's always next year. And can't wait to see you come back uh, for another round. Thanks so much, folks. We love the partnership at Microsoft. Awesome. Thank you, Morgan. Cheers, folks. Take care. Empowering every person and organization on the planet to achieve more. Wow, that is a powerful statement and exactly why we partnered with Microsoft. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, and there are no better individuals to announce the winners of this year's SAS Hackathon than our two global leads, Peter Lindquist and Einar Halverson. Einar, Peter, please take it away. Thank you, Michelle. It's a great honor for us to walk you through the awards session here today and announce the winners together with our industry truck leaders. But before we start, let's, uh, let's hear your voice about the Hackathon 2022. What's your view, Einar? Well, it's three things that comes to my mind. It is the many teams focusing on large world's problem and uh, also see the mixed nations in all the different teams adding on a student working remote and the engagement on the learning platforms and of course the uh, social posts that we see on the social media it's great to to see all this mm. yeah i agree and i can add another thing i think this teams uh, this year's quality was amazing. If you look at the storytelling, the video production from the teams and the innovation height in their, in their use cases, that was uh, fantastic. Let's talk about the awards, Peter. What's all about this year? Yeah, we have actually 18 different awards this year. So we have eight in the industry awards, we have seven different technology awards, and then we have three different regional awards in Asia, Americas and EMEA. And uh, as a cliffhanger? As a cliffhanger, yeah. What's the cliffhanger? Well, there is a big slam in tennis and there is a big slam also in this, isn't it? Yeah. What can you do? Yeah, you can actually win in each category and that we call a hack slam. A hack slam. Yeah. <laughs> and that means that uh, one team can actually win three titles. Three titles. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, now it's about the industry. Should we start there? Yeah, let's dig into the industry awards. But before, we, we almost left something out. We also have the Explore event. What's happening there? Ah, we will announce 18 titles today, but there is one left. And all the 18s will be uh, nominated to the overall winner that will be presented at the Explore event back in September correct. on the opening stage. Correct, correct. Yeah, but let's uh, dig into the industry awards now. Yeah. Here are the uh, challenges to uh, develop an algorithm that will transform an industry. Disruption is uh, creating opportunities in all industry and now it's time to tackle problems worth solving. Uh, expert jury externally and internally uh, from each sub industries has studied the creativity, innovations and usage uh, from all the contributions. Uh, Peter, what's the first sub industry? Yeah, the first industry is banking. And as you know, banking had the largest number of team in their track. So they actually had 16 teams, 10 different countries, and they work with different themes like responsible decisions, flooding, likelihood of repayments, sustainability goals, crypto coins, model as a service, wealth management, customer behavior prediction, and also the best hybrid approach to work from home. Wow. And uh, anti-fraud as well. But let's take a look at the nominations. The nominees are Business Data Partner, UK. Critical Thinking Crew, Japan. Crypto Hack, Romania. Cute More, China. Datang, China. ESG Assist Deloitte, Canada. EY DNA, Canada. Green Sweat Bank, Sweden. Jane Kiang, China. Linktera Banking, Turkey. 
Raiders of the Final Spring, USA. KPMG Hackers, Sweden. SAS Quatches, Mexico. Team Analyzer, Sri Lanka and India. And the top three are Green Sweat Bank, ESG Assist, Deloitte. KPMG Hackers. We are the leaders of the banking track, and here is the motivation of the jury. This submission is a brilliant idea, which will massively reduce climate change risk on lending portfolio. So far, the tools to do this at scale are missing. The business case is clear and compelling. The technology is clearly presented with a useful prediction model and the benefits explained. Absolutely. The team have combined ESG with real metrics and the real world that matter and delivered it in a way that seems almost ready for deployment. A huge congratulations to you from all of the SAS Hackathon team. And the winner of banking, congratulations, Team Green Swedbank from Sweden, together with KPMG and Swedbank. Congratulations! The next sub-industry is energy, and here we find use cases such as an AI-based reservoir model, advanced analytics supporting financial controllers, improvement of management of bike services in big cities, and reduced adverse effects of radiation due to disasters as nuclear reactors. So let's hear from the nominees. The nominees are Innova Data Hub, Spain, Management Solutions, Spain and Italy. Mission Controller 2.0, Italy. NAND, USA. OGIS, Singapore and India. WIA, Women in Analytics, USA. And the top three are... OGES from OGES Solution. Mission Controller 2.0, ENL and Oakland University. Innova Data Hub. This team used forecasting to predict the demand for the number of bicycles for each hour of every day of the week and used optimization to provide insights on how to improve the service. Even though this use case was for electrical bicycles, the same process and analytics could easily be leveraged for electrical cars and or other types of transportation for planning infrastructure, optimizing location of charging sites and maintenance, all while helping to meet the goals of both the city and the service customer. And the winner of the energy track from Spain, the Innova Data Hub, Innova Technology Solution. Congratulations! If I say ASD in key factors, miscoding and lost revenue, health needs of development countries, diabetes, risk prediction, mortality rates, COVID-19 prediction, drug prices, and so on. What's the category? Must be healthcare and life science. Yes, correct. And here are the nominations. The nominees are Autistic Life's Changer Mexico, Dake IT South Africa, Data Al Gol Turkey, Health as Sassers USA. Health Integrator Know It, Sweden. One Click Reporting, Switzerland. Data Mandalorians, USA. MedCheck, Philippine. The Chart Chasers, USA. And the top three are Health Integrator. Know it. The Chart Chasers, Pinnacle Solutions. Autistic Life Changers from Mexico. 
Hi, this is Jim Box. I'm the leader of the Health and Life Sciences track. We had some fantastic teams this year, and the jury was very impressed with the quality of the analyses and videos, but our winning team really stood out. Here's what the jury thought about them. Solving for billing concerns is very important to the healthcare industry. It's a major problem, and the solution was a great example of a way that we can address industry problems with analytics. Solution was both innovative and pragmatic, and the application of SAS was well presented and very detailed. And the video did an excellent job at both explaining the problem and presenting the solution. So congratulations to a really well-deserved team win. And the winner of Health and Life Science from US, the chart changes, the pinnacles. Congratulations! Insurance has also its own track this year and many innovative use cases such as usage-based car insurance, satellite data in order to build risk models that enables insurance to model, predict and prevent flooding events, um, automated analytics for claim management, insurance protections to uh, unserved and underserved and AI for inclusive microinsurances against insurance gaps and climate risk. Let's hear who the nominees are. The nominees are Data Hack Freaks, India, Inclusive Insurance, India, Linktera Insurance, Turkey, Live EO number two, Germany, NMG North, Canada. The Positive Thinking Company, Germany and Belgium. And the top three are Linktera Insurance. The Positive Thinking Company, SAS Hackers. Live EO number two. Hi, I'm Alena representing the insurance track. Here's the motivation from jury. Fighting climate risk is certainly a hard relevant topic and a top priority. Using satellite data is an innovative idea and interesting use case for the impact of climate risk in terms of flooding on insurance industry. The case shows very high level of special knowledge regarding satellite data and the usage of machine learning and holds plenty of business value and key metrics. The prototype has interesting implications and good scaling potential, also for helping other natural disasters like bushfire, etc., that can easily be integrated into this solution. The winner of the insurance track from Germany, Live EO! Congratulations! Einar, this is going to be a tough one for you. If I say Baywatch, Sea Rescue, Homelessness and uh, Disaster Spending, $173 billion in global spending, Heavy Rain and Flooding again, uh, Sustainable Tourism and Distribution of Financial Aids. What's the category? That must be Public Sector. Ah, correct. And here are the nominations. The nominees are... Baywatch, France. Disaster Response, Canada. Disaster Vision, Canada. Eco Motions, Italy. Heavy Rain, Germany. Jackstat, Indonesia. The Bissell Center, Canada. And the top three are Team Baywatch. Team Jackstat and Team Deloitte Disaster Response AI. My name is James Caton and I am the public sector track lead for the SAS Hackathon. The jury motivation is this was a really interesting analysis on how to predict the economic impact of investing in various sectors of the economy. I could see this being a useful application of the SAS software for almost any municipality, region, state or country. Great job applying data to the core mission of city government. It is clear that stakeholders in the city trust the use of data. Outstanding.
And the winner of Public Sector from Indonesia, Team Jakstak from Storkor. Congratulations! The next category is Retail. And here we find solutions for safer supply chain management, marketing analysts to help product offerings on the way to communicate its better benefits to value from its uh, specific groups, and search engines for trend analysts to uh, forecast consumer demands for product to optimize campaign. Um, the nominees are... The nominees are... 3KT, India. Complex Processors, India. TransPro, USA. And the top three are... Team 3K Technologies. Team Complex Processors. Team Trends Pro. We are the leaders in the retail track. Here is the jury's motivation. The problem described in the use case is common in the retail industry, and the solution this team provided can be used to solve it in a better way. The case presentation is super clear. There is a great potential and value in linking online trends with ad spend to demand for inventory. Linking the in-depth forecasting capability with the ad spend analysis is a great application of the solution. Very well done. And the winner of retail from the US, Transpro. This category is also for you watching this award session. Um, so we have network capacity, forecasting and improving web forms with computer vision. Uh, what's the category? Telecom and media. Correct. And here are the nominations. The nominees are Funka, Sweden. ML Jokers, Serbia. Team Forecasting, Norway. And the top three are Team ML Jokers, Team Funka, Team Forecasting. Hi there from a track lead. A very innovative and modern use case that addresses a critical requirement for successful digitalization. Unique approach to use visual computing versus code analytics to identify challenges. The use case holds high level of user experience, especially for people with accessibility needs. Wonderful to see inclusion of people with disabilities into the technology space and to use real users as inputters. Problem easy to understand and well explained. The solution can complement and easily improve other solutions. Huge potential of implementation, great use of SaaS capabilities with very specific target and result. A strong presentation of a valuable use case which can go way beyond the visually. Congratulations! Congratulations from Sweden, Team Funka! <laughs> The next category is a mixed category with ag tech and manufacturing. Here we have a team that was seeking to apply a new precision of agriculture technology with measures gamma radiation counts for uh, crop production, providing analyst insights to uh, food manufacturing to uh, leading to waste reduction and also optimize the overall equipment effectiveness of uh, 3D printing in manufacturing. So, uh, the nominees are... The nominees are... Think and Do Smart, USA CGI, Netherlands Notalize, Netherlands Tigger 4D, China And the top three are... Team Notalize Team Think and Do Smart AG Team CGI Netherlands 
Hi, we are the Mixed Track leaders, Tim Fairchild and Scott McLean, and here are the motivations from the jury. It is great to see how providing analytical insights to a food manufacturer can lead to waste reduction. The use case addresses a real world problem in manufacturing that has been addressed for decades now with process optimization. Excellent overall example of how to apply SaaS technology to a real world problem, great team effort, well thought out and a great example. And the team is from manufacturing and the Netherlands, <laughs> Team Nautilus. Congratulations! <laughs> Let us kick off and introduce the Tech Awards. Yes, let's do that. And um, this year we have actually introduced three new categories within the Tech Awards. We have decisioning, forecasting, and machine learning to the other ones that we already have, like uh, computer vision, IoT, natural language processing, and visualization. In total, seven awards to be handed out, and the jury have been evaluated each of the contribution. And we have folks from R&D and our advisory organizations has taken a really deep dive into each and every one. So, Einar, let's start with the first one. Yes, we have computer vision. And uh, computer vision is the field of the um, artificial intelligence that enables computers and systems to derive meaningful information from uh, digital images and videos and take uh, and make actions and recommendations based on that information. And the nominees are... And the top three are... Team Dake IT. Team Funka. And Team 3K Technologies. Smart usage of advanced machine learning, including computer vision capabilities in SAS VIA, through the SAS Deep Learning Python APIs. Their approach is scalable and seems to be relatively easy to deploy into production. The team did a fantastic job, and their idea has potential for real usage and commercialization. In one word, impressive. Computer vision. For the second time today, congratulations from Sweden, Team Funka! <laughs> And let's go to the next one, decisioning. And this is a new category uh, for this year's hackathon. And um, we have a hard time in the hackathon, too many decisions. But let's take a look at the theme in the, this category. So we have model as a service, process automations and claims management and repayment. So it's a lot of finance companies within this area. So let's take a look at the nominations. And the top three are Team Sasquatches Team Linkterra for Insurance And Team Linkterra for Banking Amazing data storytelling to show the whole process the digital customer journey illustrated by the team is a perfect example on how to bring the insurance sector to the next level utilizing hyper automation, combining different technology via APIs to present a fully automated digitalized solution while still reducing the complexity of development. And the winner of decisioning from Turkey, the Intera for Insurance. Congratulations! Peter, now I have a quiz for you. I've been waiting for that one. Thank you, Ina. What category are we talking about? This is the act of analyzing and mining data in order to predict what will happen in the future. What is it? <laughs> Forecasting. <laughs> Let's look at the nominees. And the top three are Team WIA, Women in Analytics. Team Forecasting and Team Mission Controller 2.0. The impact of the one city use case and potential to expand it across all the company makes this a very promising project.
We liked how SAS Studio, VA, and Visual Forecasting were all used, especially with the Git integration and scheduling of VF batch codes to productionalize the VF pipelines. It was good to see the experimentation with various modeling capabilities. The idea of using both daily and hourly forecasts was also very nice to see. And the winner of forecasting from Norway, Team Forecasting from Telenor. Congratulations! Yeah, the new category and this is a new quiz for you. This was a separate track. They had seven teams. Uh, they were working with drowsiness detection, 3D printing, use-based insurance, flooding again, and also to improve electric bike services, uh, real-time analytic and reservoir modeling. Do you know what the... Oh yeah. In Internet of Things. IoT. And here are the nominations. The nominees are 3KT, India. Data Hack Freaks, India. CGI, Netherlands. IBO, USA. Heavy Rain, Germany. Innova Data Hub. Spain, Notalize, Netherlands, OGES, Singapore and India. And the top three are Team Notalize, Team OGES, and Team Innova Data Hub. The reservoir analysis market is projected to reach $11.8 billion, and this solution has the potential to tap into that market. Their project demonstrates the understanding of domain and a detailed approach with usage of SAS via Python libraries and visual analytics for outcomes. At current oil prices, this capability should be in very high demand right now. This project represents the excellent application of math to a real world problem. The team did a great job presenting the cost of the problem, the success of the model based on real data, and the projected outcome. They took a great approach to solving a really challenging problem. It's focused on cost savings and operational efficiency. It's a well-presented idea based on a known and high expense problem. These type of analytics are in commercial use today, including this one. So it's in line with the market and a problem we hear about quite a bit. And the winner of the IoT track from Singapore and India, Team Ujes. Congratulations! The next category is machine learning, and that refers to technologies and algorithms that enable systems to identify patterns, make decisions, and improve themselves through experience. Many teams competed even here, so uh, let's look at the nominees. And the top three are Team The Positive Thinking Company, Team Jackstat, and Team Medcheck. Use of a broad range of technologies in order to determine risk and churn based on data and models. Their solution also stood out from the rest as they took it a step further and created the input form. This made it look more like an end product. The use case is highly relevant globally and can have huge impact. The winner of the machine learning, the positive thinking company from Belgium and Germany. Congratulations! A new category, and this is your favorite in our NLP, natural language processing, is the ability of a computer program to understand the human language as spoken and written. And it's referred to as the natural language, and it's a component of artificial intelligence or AI. So let's take a look at the nominations. And the top three are Team The Chart Chasers. Team Bissell Center and 
the team Autistic Life Changers. Fantastic example of using technology for the best of patients' health. This was an innovative application of SAS Boolean rules and text analytics capabilities to identify patterns between the ICD-10 descriptions using NLP. Good blending of analytical methods and use of dashboards to visualize modeling results in a way that any end user, not just a data scientist, could leverage. Great use of automated explanation capabilities in SASVIA as well. We love to see the passion and energy from the team, both in the final deliverables and in some intro videos. They really went the extra mile. Well done! Winners of the NLP for the second time today, the Char Chasers Pinnacle from the US. Congratulations! <laughs> This is your favorite, Peter. This is the visual analytics category, which is the use of sophisticated tools and processes to analyze the data set using visual representation of the data. And this is also our last tech award. So let's see the nominees. And the top three are Team Deloitte, Team The Chart Chasers, and Team Green Sweat Bank. The solution clearly demonstrated how they can address the challenge Canadian governments face with respect to identifying the regions that are more vulnerable to disasters and allocating resources and measures before such a disaster. They had also two revenue models defined which showed that they not only thought through developing the solution but also how to monetize their IP. The team did a fantastic job visualizing their story. The winner of visualization, disaster response by Deloitte from Canada. Congratulations! Final uh, prize awards, final category. Uh, we have come to the regional awards. Einar. Yes, we have an additional URI panel that has studied all the contribution across the sub-industries and usage of the SaaS technology. And uh, the award here is to the top performers in the three major regions, the All Americas, the All Europe, include Africa, and the All Asia. Yeah, and let's start with the, the Americas. Let's uh, go to the nominations. And the top three are... Team Deloitte, The Chart Chasers, and Team Autistic Life Changers. Great use of text analytics to help doctors more effectively document diagnosis with quantifiable metrics around ROI. The submission clearly articulates a problem, and the solution statements describe why it should matter to doctors and how it rewards those for keeping patients healthy. Outstanding presentation and impressive use of SAS features, studio flows, and interactive SAS visual analytics reports integrated with other technologies. This demonstration showcases SAS and the value add that the technology brings to the use case. And the winner of the Americans region for the third time, congratulations from US, the Chalk Chasers Pinnacles. Yes! Then we have Asia. Let's go to the nominations. And the top three are Team Data Hack Freaks, Team Jackstat. And Team Medcheck. This use case from Jakarta was very timely and really has a huge impact to the society. In using SAS, they were able to explore, map, and analyze data to help Jakarta government to optimize disbursement of financial aid for micro, small, and medium enterprises. 
these are the enterprises which were really hit by the pandemic with the results the jakarta government was able to smartly allocate budget and look for areas to prioritize to be able to help revive the economy solving the challenges faced by all city governments this is a highly relevant considering millions of dollars of fraud from application of government covid relief fund the winner of the asian award for the second time today from indonesia <laughs> team jaksta by starcore And finally, let's go to EMEA and look at the nominations. And the top three are Team Dake IT, Team Funka, Team Live EO number two. A fantastic and innovative data for good application which demonstrates the role of AI and technology from a truly different perspective, highlights issues people in general are not aware of, and demonstrates the power of analytics. With a clear impact that can make a major difference for many people and will help companies build accessible websites easily. There has been a very good teamwork, there is a nice application, and it should be launched immediately. Winner of the EMEA region! For the third time today, from Sweden, Team Funka for the big head slam! We have now celebrated the uh, global industry winners, the uh, technology winners and the regional winners. And you are all nominated to the overall South Hackathon Award that will be presented at the opening of the SAS Explorer the 27th of September 2022. Congratulations. Yeah, and uh, all of you um, that uh, have won the global prize today, you will get an invitation to present and record at the breakout session on the Explorer event. Uh, and that, that's an event for thousands of tech enthusiasm. So you will be there presenting your case if you want to. Wow. Mm -hmm. And again, congratulations to uh, those two teams that made the Grand Slam. The Hack Slam. The Hack Slam. That really won the sub-industry, the technology and the region. So uh, thank you and high five back to uh, Carrie. Back to Carrie, back to Michelle. Thank you, Peter and Einar. Well, that's it. On behalf of SAS, Microsoft, and the entire SAS Hackathon team, I thank you for tuning in and participating in the SAS Hackathon 2022. And we look forward to seeing you here next year for SAS Hackathon 2023, where your curiosity leads to innovation. See you next year. Competition, it's your story told. The goals that we envision all over the globe. We solve problems with code, so we leave this world better than how it was before. Like, what's your use case? Find a new way. Teamwork, you listen to what your crew say. Data in the cloud doesn't matter, my coordinates. Another sad second thumb, find me in some orange drip. We had back to back again, live from SAS. That's North Cat, the lack. I'm in that to that to 10 when they ask about us. Uh, SAS is a name we actually can trust. One decision tree in the random forest. The prediction is that we always scoring. When with your team, what you waiting for? Cause the time is now when the stage is yours.